Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm a naturopath from Australia. Today I would like to talk about a food that you probably don't eat very often that is awesome in reducing sugar cravings. I find it so interesting that uh, what's removed from the sugar in the process of making the white sugar that we know comes the foods that have the mechanism that helps you to not just keep going with the sugar but tells you you've had enough, your body doesn't need any more, it's not doing you any good. And this is just a reminder that we should be eating foods in their natural whole food form. So this food is molasses. So it's this black sticky stuff and I'm going to talk to you firstly about how it can help you and then secondly a really easy way to eat it because it's not going to go down so easily if you just start lathering it on your toast. So when white sugar is made, it's stripped of everything except the simple carbohydrate, uh, which easily converts to glucose in your body, which gives you that sugar spike, so that uh, quick burst of energy followed by a low, which can feel amazing as you're eating the sugar, but not very good very long afterwards. And so when you eat raw sugar, they've added back a little bit of the molasses. And when you eat brown sugar, they've added back a little bit more, but it's still not in the ratios that it is originally. So in America, it's known as blackstrap molasses. Australia, it's just known as molasses. And because so much of the water has been evaporated when it was made in, in the production of the sugar, it's quite a strong tasting substance but it's still sweet and it's really quite lovely once you get used to it. So chromium is a mineral that has been studied to reduce sugar cravings as well as to regulate glucose metabolism. So it improves uh, insulin regulation during type 2 diabetes. So it's really interesting that whilst sugar is not good for type 2 diabetes, the molasses, which is the part of the sugar cane that we don't eat, is really good for the sugar cravings and that glucose metabolism. So molasses is actually high in a lot of other minerals. It contains calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, manganese, iron, zinc, potassium, selenium, copper, cobalt, some B vitamins, iodine, and antioxidants. And because molasses is so high in minerals, farmers give it to their animals to keep them well. So we've got this situation where the animals are getting the minerals to keep them well and we're eating the sugar, which keeps us sick. So we need to turn this around and we need to be eating the molasses too. So like I said at the start, before you go and grab a spoonful of molasses or start spreading it on your toast, you need to know that it's got some strong flavors. So it's best eaten with other foods that have strong flavors. My favorite way to use molasses is in a chai tea. So you've got all of these spices that have quite strong flavors. Half a teaspoon of molasses in that is a beautiful sweetener and I find it to be such a lovely drink that's so spicy and warming and uh, knowing too that it's so high in those minerals. You can also eat molasses in baked goods, particularly ones with spices. So if you were to have like a, a date and cinnamon um, uh, bicky or cake or muffin or something like that, the molasses is gonna be lovely addition in here. It's gonna just add that really rich flavor that you want in the background, as well as uh, a little bit of a natural sweetener. And another way that you can use it is in Asian cooking. So if you've got Asian cooking that uh, wants something that's a little bit sweet in there, molasses will look, work beautifully because there's those strong flavors of garlic and onion and often soy sauce. So throw in the molasses and it will go really lovely and will really boost that meal. So I hope you've liked this video today. If you need further help with sugar cravings, I have a video that's on that. Otherwise, have a very lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye.